So, the intercepts method, by the way, now for example, ha, let's make use of the graphing calculator. Look at this one. If I'm going to be encoding 2x minus 5y equals 10. Oh, this is now the graph. Look at the graph here. This is the graph of this equation. Now, the x-intercept is found on the x-axis. Take note. The x-intercept is a point where the graph intersects the x-axis. And what's the x-intercept here? 5. Then you write that as 5, 0. Okay? So take note of that. When you write x-intercepts, it's x, the number x, followed by 0. But if I'm going to have the y-intercept, the y-intercept is found on the y-axis. Okay? And, of course, it's a point on the graph where it intersects the y-axis. In this case, what is the y-intercept here? It's negative 2, right? This is negative 2 section ruby. And you will be writing that as 0, negative 2. Okay? For this one, that's 5, 0. Now, let's have this example. 2x minus 5y equals 10. Let's have that one. I'm going to writing that here. We have, for a while, section B. Okay. For instance, we have, again, that was, uh, let's make this up a pen. Okay. We have, no, 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 for a while. Oops. We have 2x, no, no, I'm gonna use the lang this one. Uh. For a while, ha? Huh? Okay, let's have this one. Uh, my pointer pen. Okay, again, I'm going to be having 2x minus 5y is equal to 10. Okay? Now, in, uh, in the video tutorial, you were told that you, in solving for the x-intercept, if you want to solve the x-intercept, the value of y is 0. So take note of that. When solving for the x-intercept, the value of y is 0 all the time. All the time. Okay? Now, if the value of y, example, our equation is 2x minus 5y equals 10. If the value of y is 0, meaning the whole thing is 0, and you are left with 2x is equal to 10. Right? And then after which, to solve for x, divide both sides by 2. And then what's the value of x? 5. And you will be writing that as 5, sorry, oops, 5, 0. And that is the x-intercept now.
Okay? Now, to solve the y-intercept, the y-intercept, okay, this time, what is 0? This time, x is 0. So, you will have, for the equation, 2x minus 5y equals 10. This is 0. And you are left with negative 5y is equal to 10. And then dividing both sides by how much? Okay. In, include the negative sign. Okay. Include. Sorry. There's a problem here. No, 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 no. Okay. Negative 5. And then you cancel this out. You are left with y is how much? Negative 2. And how do you write that as a pair of points, a coordinates? 0, negative 2. So take note, when you write the x-intercept, the x-intercept is written as x0. In writing the y-intercept, that is zero y so take note of that do not interchange x or y it's always x intercept x zero y intercept zero y now when we graph this one so take note locate x x axis five so it's over here this point so i'm gonna be having this point here can it Right? And then, what about 0, negative 2? It's in the y-axis. The y-axis, that is this point, negative 2. And then you connect the two points. Oops. Uh, okay. Connect the two points. Extend. There you go. That is now the graph of this equation. Is the first example clear? Okay, let's proceed. Let's proceed. Let's have another one. What if I'm going to give you um, 4x plus 5y is equal to negative 20? Okay, let's start with the x-intercept. So, what am I going to write here? 4x. Oh, diritsyo na lang. 4x is equal to negative 20. You cancel out 5y right away because the value of y is 0, man. Oh, what are you going to do next? Divide both sides by, by 4. And what's the value? Negative 5. Very good. Okay. So how do you write this as in as an ordered pair? We have negative 5 and 0. Okay? Next, what about the y intercept? 5y, very good. 5y is equal to negative 20. Divide both sides by how much? 5. So what's the value of y? Negative 4. And how do you write that as, a, that as an ordered pair? 0, negative 4. Okay? Let's plot first x, which is equal to negative 5. x-axis, pangitaas si negative 5 over here, this point. Okay? This point here. Then you look for negative 4 in the y-axis. So, negative 4 in the y-axis. So, we have this point. Oops. All right. Uh, then, uh, oh, so, example, han, intersect the And then, over there. Okay. That is now your graph. Any questions about the examples? Section B, is everything clear? 
Now, now, what if you're given a graph alone? Like, for example, I'm gonna have this one, but I'm gonna make this as uh, okay. Uh, section Ruby, I see here. Look at the graph. If you're given the graph only, what is the x-intercept? What is the value of the x-intercept? Given the graph. Look at the graph. Analyze the graph. Yeah, yes, yes. Six. This point here, right? This point. And this point is 6, 0. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the value of the x-intercept is 6. And you write that as 6, 0. Okay? What about the value of the y-intercept? What's the value of the y? Negative 4. And how do you write that as an ordered pair? 0, negative 4. So take note of that. Maguna jud na ang zero followed by the value of the y intercept. Kung x intercept pud, maguna jud na ang x intercept followed by the zero. Okay? Uh, let's have another example. What if I'm gonna give you negative, negative 5x plus 4y equals negative. Negative 20. Okay, this one. Uh, what is the value of the y-intercept? I'm asking for the value of the y. Negative 5. How do you write that as an ordered pair? Very good. What about the value of the x-intercept? It's 4. And you write that as 4, 0. Is this clear now, section Ruby? Um, can we have now the quizzes activity para you'll have uh, you'll be able to finish along the activity is it fine with all of you look at this is your quizzes activity I'm gonna show it ha para you'll have an idea on unsa yung mga questions nga naa sa inyo hang quizzes activity let's uh, at any, enlarge uh, here's an, one question. What is the y-intercept? Okay. You have there, what is the x-intercept? Then, from this equation, what is the y-intercept? You already know this. What is the x and the y-intercept? Inyo ha nang isolve. Katong atong gibuhat ganiha. Okay. Without graphing. O sa gibuhat to na ko aning number 4 section, Ruby? Okay, so atong buhaton ani ing ani ha. Uh, let's have this one. Mag new slide ta. For example, uh, ah, ah, kato. So y equals mx plus b. So makabalo na mas inyo hang example. Uh, for a while ha. Example, um, y equals 8x minus, let's have 16. Oh, what is the value of the y-intercept? So, meaning, ma zero ni siya. So, pili value sa y. Oh, that's why it's negative 16. Now, sir, what if, sir, I'm gonna have still the same, y equals 8x minus 16. But I'm going to look for the x-intercept. So take note, the y-intercept is negative 16. Okay? This is the y-intercept. What about the x-intercept? So meaning, this is now 0. Right? So 0 is equal to 8x minus 16. So may buhato na ni sir. You will transpose 8x to the other side. 
So this becomes negative 8x is equal to negative 16. Divide both sides by negative 8. So what's the value of x? The x-intercept is positive 2. So that's how you go about it. Okay? Now let's have another example. Let's have another example. Discard. What if I'm going to have this one? 3x minus 7y is equal to 21. What is the value of the x-intercept and the y-intercept here? Oh, let's start with the x-intercept. So what are you going to do with this? We have is equal to 21. Very good. So you need to cancel. Up. Okay, very good. That's equal to 7. So x is equal to 7. And how do you write this as an ordered pair? 7, 0. What about the y-intercept? The y-intercept is negative. Do not forget the negative sign. That's a common error. Do not forget the negative sign. Negative 7y divided by negative 7 both sides. And what's the value of y? Negative 3. How do you write this as an ordered pair? Okay, there you have it. Okay? Okay.